Hey devs, welcome back to my channel. So today we would be talking about the newly released um, GDevelop version, which is GDevelop 5 Beta 101. Um, so this is the first time we'd be talking about a GDevelop version. Actually, I wanted the last version of um, GDevelop, which was the Beta 100, to be the first time, um, but sometimes things don't go according to plan. Okay, so before we begin, I need you guys to do um, two things. First, I need you to like the video because these videos take a lot of time to and efforts to create. And when you don't like the video, I mostly don't feel like creating more. So help me create more by liking this video. And the second thing I need you to do is subscribe if you haven't. So I'm hoping you must have done these two things. Okay, so at the time of recording this video, um, GDevelop Beta 101 was released um, 16 hours ago. So maybe by the time this video is uploaded, it might be um, a day or maybe 23 hours. Okay, so we'll be taking a look at all those um, improvements all the way to the bug fixes. And I don't think we'll be going into the internal changes. It's mostly for developers. So, um... It's not actually that necessary. So we're going through the um, improvements and the bug fixes. Okay, so let's begin. First First of all, we have this right here, which is add better support to right to left um, language by denim um, to X. So this is actually better support for right to left languages. And let's open GDevelop just to show you guys. So this is GDevelop and um, currently GDevelop better 101. Here we go. So you should have update here so just in case you don't get the auto updates i'll leave links in the description to download the latest version okay so let's close this and um for language i'll change the language let's select a right to left um language i think this would do so there we go this is the um better support for right to left this is actually two percent complete so um yeah so we have most of our languages okay so um there we go and we don't get this arm um, right to left it's not complete that's why you don't get this um text changing so change that back to um english okay so let's go back and um okay okay so add um a condition to check if the device has um a touch screen i think this was added by um foyan yeah he mostly doesn't add um, his name wants to add something. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So, GDevelop, let's create a new project. Let's go to our empty game. Okay, so let's add a new scene. Let's check this out. So, new scene and new scene event. So, it's a condition. So, it's definitely in the event. So, add an event, add a condition. It would definitely be in all the conditions. And then, um, touch, I think. Okay, so here we go. Device app. Okay, so check if the device is running um, the game has a touch screen typically android phones i um iphones ipads and but also some laptops which have touch screen so this checks if um the device you're currently running the game has a touch screen okay there is also an improvement to the file system the windows mac os and linux expression so we have the add file system executable folder path expression to get the path to the folder where the game um, executable is located. So let's try this out now. Let's open to the vault. The best way to get this is to create a text object. So let's add new object. Let's add a text. And um, okay, we can set that to text object's name. Text. There we go. So we don't need any um, edit. So let's just put this into the scene. We have this here. Let's go to our events. Um, add a new events add an action let's select text and let's modify the text sign set so these are um, expressions so let's get that the um, file um, executable folder path so this would get the path um, to this game um, executable folder okay so let's preview this so right now it should show GDevelop yeah there we go so that's it it's running from GDevelop so it would show um, GDevelop if you export it it won't show GDevelop anymore but for now it would show this as um GDevelop. okay so that's the um file system executable for the path so let's check this out so they also added um expressions to the file system directory name file system file name and file system extension name to extract paths um of a path so let's check this out let's um open GDevelop. so here we go um open this 
Okay, so here we go. Now to get this, first we need, let's get the bar. There we go, directory name. So here we go. So it says it returns the portion of um, the portion of the path that represents the directories without the ending file name. So this one show the ending file name. So let's get the cheat valve directory. Once again, um, file, executable path. There we go, executable path. And um, okay, so let's, okay, and preview this. Okay, so um, let's close this. And next up, let's try out the file name. Okay, so this returns the name of the file with its extension. So um, that's if there's any. So open text file um, system. So file um, system. There we go. File system and um, file name. Here we go. So file name. There we go. So returns the name of the file with its extension. So let's get the JDevelop executable path. So um, executable path. There we go okay close that and okay preview this and here we go so this is the name of the file to develop and the um extension which is a dot exe okay so that's um how the file name works so for the last which would be the extension name um let's open this once again and did this so file and there we go um Okay, the extension name. This returns the extension of the file designated by the given path, including the extension period, for example, .txt. So in short, this gets the uh, extension of the file. So let's say we have um, something like this. Right here, this is an image from the last tutorial, the thumbnail. So this is a PNG. So that's the extension of this file. PNG, we have this right here. This is a PNG. We have this. This is um, a JPEG right here. Okay, so that's a JPG and um okay so that's the extension for jdevelop the extension is dot exe so let's get jdevelop extension just show you um so once again let's get the executable path there we go close that and okay preview this so there we go that is the extension so the um file system extension name gets the extension of the file and conditions actions conditions and expressions to manipulate the windows on win um, the window on windows linux and mac os so this allows um, us to set the position of the window minimize maximize and resize it it allows us to enter full screen and chaos key mode where the user can disable the full screen it's um we can also allow um to set the window opacity enable disable shadow um, this depends uh, according to the OS and use all the advanced features add a condition to check if the game is full screen mode or not so let's check this out let's um, open to develop and events okay so add new events and um, add an action this is definitely in the other actions and um, here we go so the advanced window management Windows Linux and Mac OS so we have this this comes with it so um, so to save time, we'll go through um, all of this. I'll just go through some of them. So first of all, enable contents protection. So this enables and disables contents protection mode. Um, this should prevent screenshots of your game from being taken. Okay, so if you don't want screenshots, you just enable that um, of your game. Okay, so um, enable the window. So this um, enables the window or disables it. Um, enable window. Let's try this out. Yes. Okay. So um, preview this. So right now the window is enabled. Let's um, close this. Let's set it to no. So once we set it to no, so now it's disabled. Um, there we go. You get this um pink sound making. So you can actually assess the file edit. As you can see, it's disabled. So that's um how that works. And to disable this, um, okay, we have to set this to yes and close this okay so we have this now it's enabled once more so close this and let's check them out okay so we have the flash the window this would um make the window flash or end flash and change focus on the okay so this um gain or lose focus so i tried this earlier and um i realized that you should always have a way to give the window focus once again so if you set the focus of the window to no you should have um an action to set it back to yes or else you might experience some issues okay so we have the maximize window basically this just um does the simple maximize and um uh minimize there we go sorry this is the minimize right here so we have to make um the window always on top 
So this will set it always on top. Let's try this out. So we have a level um, right here. So I'll set the status level and enable always on top. Okay. So preview this. Okay. So normally once we click on the back window, this should go behind it where it's on top. There we go. So that's how the um, enable window always on top works. Okay, we have the allow closing, um, enable or disables closing on the window. So once this is set to no, you cannot close the window. Allow focusing, you can allow the player to focus on the window, yes or no. Like I said, you can focus it and uh, once set to yes. And okay, so allow full screening. So this um would allow or uh, give you this full screen right. Okay, enables or disables full, full screening of the window by the user. Okay, so enable window shadow. Um, this is self-explanatory enables the shadow um, Kiyoski mode puts the window in a Kiyoski mode um, This prevents the user from exiting full screen So you don't want your user to exit full screen and you want them to follow the um, Process where they have to go through exit 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 you can set this check and allow maximizing So let's check this out allow maximizing no Okay, preview this so this should gray out our maximize button There we go. So it's we cannot maximize anymore. So that's it that's how the this works so um same goes for the minimize it grays out the minimize allow moving once set to no um you cannot move the window the window opacity so you can set the window opacity here it must be between zero and one okay so allow resizing you want to resize your window you have to allow this okay so set our window position you can um, set the window position with the you set the x and the y position right here and change the visibility of the okay so be careful how you use the chain visibility of the window because the last time i tried this the window completely disappeared so you should have um an action to um make it visible once more okay so that's it for the actions and um basically we would have um conditions also right here so in the condition side all you would do is just check if it's true or false um if it's true then you do this if it's false you do that so that's what um, we have in the conditions. Okay. Add missing translations to the context menu. So all um, they did here was add uh, missing translations to the context menu. So there's no way we can actually test this out. So let's move on to the next. Should the description of the expression when filling the parameters of an expression just like we saw earlier when we were adding in um, this expressions right there we got the description so um, that's it multiple improvements for touch screen and tablets so if we're running the web version of Gdevelop on tablets now allow our um, whole objects role to be dragged on touch screens add supports for context menu via a long um, touch on safari ios um add padding to the heat area of resize slash rotate buttons on touch screens don't auto focus, uh, focus um, search bars on touch screen. So these are all the improvements we get for mobile or for touch screen and tablet devices. Okay, so new examples in to develop add examples for the um, twin animations feature. So we have the twin animations example by um, Sebastian. Let's check this out. Um, to develop a new scene file. Let's create a new project and um, examples. Okay, so um, twin. There we go. Twin animations and okay. So let's check this out. Preview. Okay, basically these are the twin animation. I think this is the position animation and um, this should be the color and opacity um, twin. Sorry, this should be the angle and this should be the scale um, twin. So we have this. So this is a good way to um, understand how the twin works. We have this position here so you know what, how it would work once implemented in your game. So this is a really good example. So close and let's go back. Um, so next we have the twin test example by um, Wendigo 
okay let's check this out and so in test file create a new project and examples okay so swing here we go swing test let's open this and um, okay we have this let's preview this okay basically this are uh, all the um twin behaviors put into one project we have the uh, i think most of them not sure i think most should be here so we have the position y twin that's okay so clicking on this activates it so this is the y position twin and the positions twin okay this is nice there we go so we get the positions twin right here the angle twin okay this should rotate it and that is good okay so the y uh, position x twins and okay this moves there we go and this is the y twins and this is the x twins so for the scale y there we go so you get that for this and variable twins um here we go numbers okay so for our opacity twins this should take out the opacity there we go and um color twins okay so as you can see it's changing the color so if you're planning to work with twins and all your beginner i would advise you check this out to understand how oh, um x twins and this is like the opposite or oh, this is the scale y and this is the scale x so it scales to the x on the x axis and this scales on the y axis so pause and resume um twin okay so um left clicking on it activates it or resumes it and right clicking okay pauses it there we go okay so the character size um there we go okay so it works okay so we have the scale twins um let's click on that okay it's nice you get this so this is the twin test um example a new example into develop i would advise you check this out add layer effect example um by the gem dev which is me okay so let's okay into develop create a new project examples and um effects okay so layer effects okay so this is it so the reason behind this example is that i got tired of the fact that i wasn't sure what each um effect could do and i had to go through every single effect just to get the perfect effect but now with this example all you have to do is switch between effects so let's um preview this okay so this um example comes with a light and dark just in case you want to test it out on um a lighter background there we go so the first effect which is the twist effect we have this and the next and um previous button and you go through every effect um in the engine there we go so there's the brightness and there's a bulge range there we go so if you're tired and you want to test this um uh, wait if you want to know what this looks like on another image all you have to do is click on the next image it brings up um a new image for you there we go so you can test this out and um there we go so you get this um, images to test um it out there we go that's it that's the layer effect example okay add new icons for starter games when creating a new project thanks um the gem dev okay that's me let's um open to develop create a new project okay so these are the new icons here we go the platform the 8-bit shooter geometric monster and all this is all the um, new icons also you get the empty game um new icon back then there was no icon so let's compare this with the old um icons here we go okay so these are the old icons here we go you get this as a platformer so i'm sure this is um the new icons are way better okay that's add latest tutorials so we now have uh, more tutorials on the videos tab improve the platform starter game with a parallax background so let's check this out um create a new project and platform okay so here is the parallax let's preview this and we have this okay seems to be an endless parallax here we go and um it's endless so that's the parallax let's um check out the events okay i can't see anything here let's um it shouldn't be here okay it's definitely a behavior let's check this out ok 
just a behavior so cloud on behaviors okay that's it it's a behavior right here so the horizontal although cloud sprites parallax should be an easier way to um, create a parallax with this um, behavior Add an asset store to the web app with objects ready to use and a library of resources when editing objects. This will be improved and added to the desktop app if useful. So this is the web app which is developed online. Let's check. Okay, so this is the web um Gdevelop web app which is the online version of Gdevelop and let's start this and project or close this in. Let's get an empty game, create a new project and um empty game. Okay, so let's check out the um asset store so add new objects here we go so we have this this objects which are ready to use in here so these are really good assets because you can make a full game out of assets from um kenny's website i think this are from kenny there we go it should display the name so there we go it's from um kenny that's where i get most of my assets so far i think this is the best feature um to develop that one um one has to offer uh, presently it's only in the web app um hopefully should be in the desktop app soon so there we go that's the asset store okay okay so for the bug fixes fix um optional parameters wrongly included in the expression when not Field in the expression parameters window. Fix grid snapping being disabled after alternate tabbing to another window. Um, fix game crash with, with lights when the device is lacking um, web chill support. Um, fix focus being lost when redefining a variable in the instance properties um, editor. Uh, multiple fixes to the P2P feature. Um, there we go, multiple fixes to the web app. Um, also fix, um, sorry about that, fix margin. Um, around renamed list items and um, fix memory leak they should be good when reloading resources from object fix outlines of the shape um, paint the object um, that were not visible in the specific case um, fix file system user home path expression not working and fix the file system executable path description so that's um, all Gdevelop Better 101 has to offer. Okay, so it would be good um, if you could tell me what you think about this version. Uh, okay, so there we go. That's Gdevelop um, 5 Better 101. Go and have fun with this version. Thanks for watching.